All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. It's time for some cocktails. It's Jesse MJ, co-host of Mixed Mornings on Mix 106.9 in Louisville, and a man that needs no introduction, but I'm going to give him one anyway. America's Chief Entertaining Officer, Mr. Tim Laird. Hello, gang. Good to see you, Jesse MJ. Once again, cocktail time. We're so excited. Uh, my favorite time of the day, always. Uh, so anyway, uh, we have a fun one. Uh, I'd like to say that uh, this drink is as fun to make as it is to drink. It's uh, my Green Ghost cocktail, and it is so fun, easy, delicious, and it starts out a glass of ice right there, okay. ounce and a half of your favorite vodka, boom, that goes in, and then three ounces of good orange juice. Mm -hmm. You're saying, hey, it's so far the drink hit was clear and now it's orange. Okay. Where's the green ghost, right? Well, right. I've got, some, I've got some blue curacao, which is an orange liqueur. Put that in, give it a stir, and there's the green ghost. Turns absolutely <laughs> green. So nice. as we did, we learn that in science class that uh, uh, blue and orange makes green. So the ghost appeared. And uh, I could even put a little lime in there for a green uh, kind of a garnish. So, and even my cocktail. So even if you don't believe in ghosts, I do believe in cocktails as my bar napkin says for you your listeners. Nice. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> that's right. So anyway, here it is, the green ghost. Let me give it a, a little, I'll, I'll make this disappear. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm. Wow. I'll tell you what. Oh, it would be corny if I say that's very haunting, isn't it? <laughs> no, I'll a tell you what. Bit. A little bit. <laughs> this, this is, I'll tell you, this really is good. Three ingredients. Um, and I think that orange, the, the blue curacao, that orange liqueur kicks that orange flavor up from the orange juice. Right. And I'll tell you what, it looks perfectly. I love that color green. It's perfect. Yeah. Delicious. Mm. And there it is, the green ghost. I like it. <laughs> you know, that, that's nice because uh, we were talking. Uh, we were talking Derby Week. The hot new health trend is uh, is people drinking chlorophyll, the uh, the the stuff that you know plants use to make uh, right. photosynthesis. It's also green, so you could just lie to people and say that's what it is. That's it, a health drink. Again, it's got orange juice in it. It's a health drink. That's fine. It, it <laughs> is. Vitamin C. I like that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And um, vodka is a base, so uh, not as many calories as uh, some other spirits true. that are out there. So, um, but uh, I like that. I, I mean, it really is delicious. My, uh, I even get, yeah. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. Mm. You know, I even, to save a few calories, I get that orange juice light. So uh, less sugar less calories right. and tastes just as good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was going to say my wife would enjoy this because, you know, she teaches kindergarten. So that whole color change thing, that's right in her wheelhouse. She's, she's teaching that all day. Kids, I've got a magic trick. Watch what I can do with vodka and blue curacao and orange juice. Oh, you're going to love this. So true story, I had to do, uh, me and uh, uh, another dad, we had to do sign up for a science project to do in front of one of her classes. I suggested something like this. I was, and, and, and uh, we were shot down. My wife shot it down, but I was like, look. Yeah, I can see that happening. We can teach yeah. them about colors and, and, and combining <laughs> things. And we can show them how to make your teacher in a better mood. I'm like, all of this scientifically backed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was, uh, That's right. Oh, you know, that kind of reminds me, maybe our next cocktail We'll learn density, and I'll do some layered cocktails. Mm -hmm. You know where you have the three different colors. Oh, we'll, I like that. Okay, on our next cocktail edition, we'll we're gonna teach you density, kids. No, you're gonna we're gonna love that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's. Uh, I was gonna say you're not Bill Nye, the science guy. It's. Uh, it's. Uh, Tim Rye, the drink right. guy. There yeah, you we'll go. Yeah. Taking science to the cocktail. That's right. Listen, uh, I think we <laughs> if you can actually do and have a cocktail too, I think it's a good day. Why not? You, you know, maybe we take this to the science center downtown for an adult event and call it uh, science of the cocktail. Well, you know what? <laughs> they do have a fundraiser. It's called science with a twist where they do, they do uh, different themes every year. That's uh, right. 
It's a lot of fun. I've been trying, I've pitched them on a superhero theme every year. Oh yeah. Shooting it down. And I'm like, you could have exhibits on how to duplicate uh, superpowers through science. Or here's the green goblin. There you go. <laughs> or green lantern. Exactly. Or no, yeah, it should be green lantern. It, it should be positive. Right. <laughs> Superheroes, yeah. not uh, yeah. not negative so, ones. Yeah, that's right. But they do they do an event they do an event like that all the time, and they always have some sort of uh, a booze sort of theme uh, with it to go along with it because you can't have a fundraiser without fun cocktails. No, you're sure. right. In fact, I remember we did some when they had a Star Trek thing. Remember they had the set yes. of Star Star Trek, and I I did some some themed cocktails around that. That was a lot of fun. You're right. I think I like the superhero. Uh, um, twist that would be great they just don't return my phone calls anymore it's weird <laughs> good oh. gosh here's a big idea i mean look at this could even be the kryptonite no oh. <laughs> no we gotta go back to <laughs> there you go that works too uh one of the one of the fun ones is they had a um i forget what they called it but it was like a rock and roll and music one and they had yeah. a guitar smash so they got a bunch of old guitars uh that were donated from uh mom's music and so for a certain fee, you could go and smash a guitar like a rock star. Oh, that, that does look like fun. Uh, I, it, I mean, <laughs> but I, I suppose they wouldn't let you set it on fire like uh, <laughs> Jimi Hendrix. Uh, probably not. Uh, well, it was probably fun not. until I hit it on a cinder block and oh. a piece of it went flying, which is what you're supposed to do, but a piece of it went flying 20 feet and hit another person. <laughs> <laughs> I think somebody did that on Saturday Night Live. I didn't see it, but it was just not too long ago. And mm -hmm. and uh, some musician wanted to end with a, a bang like that. And it yeah. uh, actually didn't work out so well. No. Yeah. <laughs> MJ, you're, you're a music major. Does that hurt every time you see that? Somebody somebody destroying a it does. instrument? It, it really, yeah, it really does. And actually the one he's talking about, I think uh, she actually got permission from the company before she oh. destroyed the guitar. It was like, is this going to be cool? And they were like, yeah, it's fine. It's, it's for art. It's fine. But it, yeah, it hurts my heart when I see it. They're like, yeah, <laughs> it's fine. I mean, it's only, you know, $80,000 guitar. That's yeah, whatever. <laughs> we got more. You can buy another one. It's fine. <laughs> oh, that was, well, that was a fundraiser too. In, in, in uh, I remember in high school, they had a car bash where they get an old junky car and you could take a sledgehammer to it for, you know, a dollar a hit. Yeah, I remember. That I have done. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you, MJ. <laughs> it was for charity. What? It was totally it for charity. <laughs> it is for charity, and it gets your aggression out, and it's 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 a fun thing to do to break up something. I mm -hmm. I, I like that. Yeah, just because the, the the car happened to belong to an ex of hers doesn't mean <laughs> not true. Not true. No evidence. None. <laughs> She had it. She had it lucky, but that was before social media. Now everybody's got. Now there's always video evidence of it going on. Uh, it's true. Slander that's true. going on right now. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, all right, Tim. Well, uh, thank you as always for teaching us another cocktail. I mean, and and a science lesson. If you Absolutely. Green. You know. We'll do the, the science behind the cocktail. Uh, we'll we'll have to right. work on that. Oh well, you know, you could you could always make uh, you could always make a cocktail with a diet coke as the mixer and throw a Mentos in, and we could watch that. <laughs> oh no, no. Uh, that would be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> no. So here's a fun trick. I'll I'll give you this before I go, and if you use this, yeah. uh, I'm going to deny that he got it for me. So um, I figured out that you know, so you give somebody, so you take a, a bottle of diet coke, right? Open the lid. And you put the Mentos inside the lid along with like um, like a little metal washer or whatever. So that and then you have a magnet on the inside of your hand. So as you're holding the Diet Coke, the Mentos stays in the lid. Then you hand it to somebody and go here, you know, um, the machine gave me this by mistake. I don't want it. And they go, thank you. So when you take your hand off and when they go to open it up, the Mentos drops in right around the time that they open up. All hell breaks loose. Oh, how about that? Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. And I'm the bad person? Really? Really? Okay. 
<laughs> Listen, I'm saving their lives because Diet Coke has terrible things in it, you know, and, and just, uh, go, oh, yeah, 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 I, yeah. you know, I'm performing a community service is what I'm doing. I think you are. That's right. <laughs> I right. think this is going to go viral now. I think you're, you're <laughs> <laughs> I think people no are going to try this. No <laughs> responsibility. Right. <laughs> Listen, if you put an eye out, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. <laughs> no, yeah. no. It's, it's also well, I saw it on the internet. House. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Well, uh, aside from my uh, my my ill fated uh, prank there, Tim. Again, thank you uh, as always for teaching us another cocktail, uh, something that's easy, fun to make at home, all that good stuff. Uh, we've got this recipe. It's in it's in the information section of this video. Uh, you can also uh, find all the other cocktails. I was scanning through the other day. We've got over a year's worth of cocktails. So we have almost, probably yeah. about 50 to 60, because I forget when we started this, but I do All remember right. uh, we covered the margarita a couple of times. So I know mm -hmm. we had to have been doing it in May. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think you're right. And I think we, and we have a cocktail for almost every occasion. So almost. Uh, whether it be right. birthdays, holidays, uh, whatever the occasion is, uh, uh, by gosh, Independence Day, yeah. uh, they're all there. And uh, so what's really cool is uh, as we start opening up, as people start having little small get togethers at their house, there's a lot of great options on there. So if you want to sort of, you know, show, show your friends that you haven't seen in a while, like, hey, I learned something while I've been sequestered in a hole. <laughs> well, mate, we have no problem making you look better. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I studied at Tim Laird School of Mixology. Yeah, you know, and, and and listeners can go have cocktail of the day. So that would be uh there you um, go. That would be fun. Yeah. So uh so yeah, so check all that stuff out there. Uh click like and subscribe because we've got a new one up each week. Uh we you know, we keep Tim busy. He's he's sort yes. of semi-retired, so uh, we gotta give him something to look forward to. Really, this is our community service. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> all right, well, cheers, Tim. Cheers.